Everywhere I go, you already know. Got me like shot to swing my way. If we get the business by the time we finish, yeah, you got me like shot to be my bag. from Detroit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. You mm -hmm. know, I've, I've lived between Mississippi and Chicago, so it's not just like, you know, super, super crazy, but it's just, you know, your first time in New York. Like, I'm yeah. excited and it's just like yeah. that. Um, Jay Pride, I want to first and foremost uh, get sort of a, a definition of um, Jay Pride, uh, what it stands for and why Jay Pride. Jay Pride is definitely a liver of life. I love to have fun. You mm. know, I love to laugh. Um, Definitely humble, mm -hmm. uh, a speaker of truth, mm -hmm. and you know I'm just all around, you know, like your everyday girl. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to get my music thing popping. How long you have you been doing it? How long have I been singing? In the music? Yeah, yeah, singing. Yeah, like since 2008, I came out back home mm -hmm. with a record called Aquafina Flow, mm -hmm. and I've been really just pushing it ever since. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Aqua. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit back. But, um, Aquafina flow. I love are, this. We already know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just I, the, the title itself. It just, it just yeah. sounds so uh, nutritional and yeah. everything else that comes along with this. I thing. mean, water good for you. You ain't never lie about that. Mm -hmm. 2008. Um, what made you uh, delve into just wanting to say, you know what? I want to sing. I want to do this. I want to follow this career. Um, actually, um, we had this thing called show up and show out, show up to show out, mm -hmm. um, at this little spot back home called Fanatics, mm -hmm. and, um, we were doing a little show up, and I won, like, all the way up to, like, the semi-final round, and, um, everybody was like, you know, you, you need to really keep pushing with right. this music thing, because we love you, and, you mm -hmm. know, we want to see you do great things, which I've always wanted to be, you know, a singer, because right, right, I love right. to sing, so, right. you know, that's definitely... It inspired me to like really keep pushing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the music and everything. Well, you know, I'm, I'm hearing in 2008. It's eight years down the line. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a there's a there's a a slew of artists out. Mm -hmm. Um. Was there frustration in the eight in the eight years? You know, because you know you hear a lot of bull, you hear a lot of this. Yeah, you know what definitely. I mean? Like sometimes, like you know, even now I turn on the radio, I'm like, what? What is it? But you know. That's just the music industry that you gotta keep that drive going. Like right. you know, you gotta But it can inspire it. you as well. It definitely can inspire you. Like I had had my hard times like in the last eight years as far as like the music. You know, I had to take a little hiatus. Life. And and get my my, my, my money right on the on the dread side, <laughs> on the side. Right, but, right. You know, we'll once I got back popping, you know, I never like gave up on my music mm -hmm. or my dream. So like once I got my my stuff in order, my books in the row, I you know, go back in here first. Like, I'm back, y'all. What's that? <laughs> could you say could you say it's it's more therapeutic than anything? Yeah, definitely. Because with me, like, you know, sometimes when I get angry or I'm going through things or you know, when I'm happy or whatever the case is, my feelings, my vibes, I put it into my music. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times like I don't wanna cuss you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I ain't that type of person. Mm -hmm. But don't try me though. Um, but me. most of the time, like a lot of stuff that I go through in my life, I sing about it, okay. and that's how I okay. make it through a lot okay. of stuff. Like, okay. you know? yeah, yeah. So they were yeah. that therapeutic uh, avenue. Now, now you said, um, you said, you know, as far as you know, just the locks, right? Mm -hmm. I, I read, you know, and, and said that you're an entrepreneur in a sense. As I well. am. Um, so it's obvious not that the music, as we see, it's not about just the money in itself actually no, it's not. but it but it helps it, it, but it helps yeah, yeah. yeah it helps mm -hmm. move along it helps yeah. you get certain places you're here in new york yeah. as you stated you stated a host of other cities that you you know mm -hmm. come about you know come um, come through tell me about the singles you hear it you already don't know what all right it is because it's you know it's a feel-good song like you know it's, it's it's uplifting it's catchy mm -hmm. you know when you hear it you're gonna already know like okay. you know so 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 this is just an opening to your mixtape right Oh, can I say mixtape or mixtape album? Like, is it a mixtape? A mixtape, which okay. you already know won't be on the mixtape, but my mixtape just dropped. You know. So I asked. So, so you know, you know what? It's it's amazing, you know, Jay, that when you hear R and B, you know, mm -hmm. you usually don't hear like a mixtape. You know, you 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 from R and B artists. You know what I mean? So you always True. associate mixtape with the rap artists, but um, with the 
I, so I was trying to, you know, just trying to be real meticulous in my wordplay. Um, with this mixtape, are you, is it original music? I do have a, a remix I did, uh, Dream Me, The Close To You. Okay. It started off as a cover and it ended up being, because I'm a writer as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we kind of like, it, it went from one thing to another, mm -hmm. but it's going to be on a, um, the mixtape. Okay. Um, and the rest of the stuff on there is pretty much original. Original? So why, so why, are you just giving it away or is it, are you selling I'm it? I'm giving it away um, because, you know, like I said, like, um, I'm really trying to get my, my music out okay, there. Okay, makes sense. And I just feel like a lot of times when people hear an R&B or just, you know, new artists, period, like, a lot of people, if they don't know you, they really not going to buy very. your stuff. Let's <laughs> just be real. So, like, I figure, like, let me do a mixtape and I'll just give them, you know, a part of Jay Pride. And, okay. And, you okay. know, because I know y'all don't, you know, like me. We anticipating it. We an no, no, no. We anticipating it. Um, tell me, tell me about some of your favorite songs on it. Give me two. Um, let me say one is "Let Me In." Um, I talked about this earlier. Like you know, I just feel like with the, all the trap music and just you know in the hip hop communities nowadays, like people really don't love no more. Like what's wrong with y'all? We need love. That's what we was put here for, you know. But um, it's just kind of get in, in depth about you like I don't understand why people don't really love no more but I'm a lover so yeah. I'm here and it's very heartfelt so yeah, you, know. you know let me in let me in let her in let please let her in um regarding the second this your second favorite um it's gonna be that's kind of hard to say oh, why are you putting this pressure on me I like all of them no nah, we, we gotta be come on uh, nah, you got, I know you got that favorite I mean all of them is your favorite yeah definitely everything the two I that stood out. Like, I don't know I'll never know what the two is <laughs> from when, I, when people like ask me what's your favorite so throw, me, throw another one um can't help it it's the record I did and I just like like you know it's it's kind of got like that old school R&B mixed in in there like you know with a a little sample here and there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and the harmonies and the, and the just the layout, the vocal patterns is just it's really dope. And I just I still get warm every time I hear it. And I was thinking about a little boo thing. Oh my! You know, oh my. it was a little boo thing. But don't feel <laughs> special. You know. <laughs> Regarding features. But yeah. Um, Do you have any features on there? So yeah, I am doing a feature with an artist from Jackson, Mississippi. Um, Hollywood look. Okay. Make sure y'all go check him out on Instagram, okay. Hollywood underscore okay. look. I mean, Other than that, this it's just, just that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's crazy I, I say that because once again, you know, for me interviewing so many rap artists, you know what I mean? When you when you say features, it's like, mm -hmm. damn, could is it is it possible? And of course it, it, it occurs, but is it possible for two R&B to, you know what I mean, come mm -hmm. together and do it? Well, actually, Luck is a rapper. He, he sings as well. Okay. But he's um he's going to be rapping on this record right. that he's doing a feature for. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a dope record. So make sure y'all got that. And the name of it? The name of the um, this The name of the mixtape is December 1st. <coughs> December 1st. Oh, yes, which is my birthday. And mine's 11 days after. Yes. Just because it's your birthday, you named it that. No, I named it that because December first was the day the star was born. Oh my! Yes. Oh my! That's, that was strategic. I wanted her to bring that out. Yeah, yeah. Repeat <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's my birthday. Like you know, I stand for a lot. Like I, I got a lot of people back home that's that's rooting for me. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I just feel like everybody know Jay Pride, and I feel like by me dropping it on my birthday and naming it, you know, it's just it, it all goes together. At, at least it makes sense to I'm me. Able to live in. Oh, give me some R and B artists, right? That um, from the past and currently that inspired you. From the past, like I, I grew up listening to Aaliyah, Monica, mm -hmm. Brandy. Uh, just you know, I love me some Brandy. Like her runs. If I could just follow everything she do, like mm -hmm. as far as vocally, baby. She just do something to myself. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But today, like, you know, of course, I love Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I, Rihanna, that's my girl. Okay. I, I, I deal with Rihanna. Okay. I almost cussed, but you know. No, it's all right. Story. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> um, I like Rihanna. I like Kay Michelle. I like Kay Michelle. I like her rawness. Mm. You know, I like the fact that, you know, she can get up there and just, like, I went to one of her shows, mm -hmm. and I like the way she interacts with the crowd, just, like, just outside of singing like mm -hmm. she can talk to the people it's like she want people to get up there with her and just you know i just like her all around like you know as far as her vocals mm -hmm. and her shows that she put together like it's really dope and that's that's i, I like that get uh, is there artists that uh that also inspire because you know now there's a mm -hmm. lot of underground and soulful music out that typically 
these people have a mean following, yeah. but you would you possibly may never know because they're not mainstream. If they're artists that they do that as well, because um, you may you may be that same person to other people. Yeah, I'm trying to think like it's you know nobody in particular right. like cool. on the underground cool. side cool. Cool. right cool. now, cool. but I'm always open to like you know. If I hear something, I like it. Like I, I do my research now. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, no, right. Like, like right now, I can't say this. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's a few mainstream that I, you know, I like. I'm inspired by. Okay, cool, cool. Any uh, any rap artists that also inspires you as well? Um, yeah, like I listen to the radio. And whatever is like the pop in the wave, like future, I, he doing his thing right now. Right, I ain't right, gonna lie, right, like he right. just got his this whole wave popping right, right, right now. So right. yeah, everybody love future. Right. right yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, but I I ain't not a lot of stuff that he rap about. Like you know. No, I'm not I saying that. that light, but you know, you in the club or you cleaning up the house or whatever the case is, you know, you put a future on, you vibe, you ride or whatever. No, I said that in a sense too yeah. because um once again, you know, at the end of the day, you still are. Uh, 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 entrepreneur, you know what I mean? So I look at that wave, I look at the entrepreneurial aspect of what some of these artists actually uh, give as well, because, you know, sometimes, you know, once again, uh, it, 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 it it works with you emotionally and the slew other things that come along with these emotions, mm -hmm. but um, the entrepreneurial aspect of it still gives you that, that, that drive to want to continue on, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So some artists may have, because, you know, a lot of these artists are one dimension, but mm -hmm. then it's a lot that may be three dimensional, mm -hmm. and I see a host of dimensions right there. So I wanted to ask that, and I wanted okay. to put that out there. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, in closing, is there is there any other thing that you um you know trying to venture into? I mean, yeah, I might you know venture into doing a little acting here uh -huh. and there because you know I'm low key like in my mind. I'm an actress. I'm, a, I'm just a big superstar. <laughs> but well, no, you are animated in a great way. way. Um, I definitely want to venture into that, possibly, okay. in the future, once I get this music thing going like how I want it to. Okay. Okay. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like, uh, I am a professional lactation back home. Uh, I do dreads. Dread okay. I, you know, specialize in that one. I make my own product. You know, that's what I used to do, keep a hair with. You and make your own product? I make it myself. Yes, it's an all natural product oh. I use. I ain't gonna get it. I can't tell y'all my special sauce. No, 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 no ingredients. No, we give them a little too but much. No know. ingredients, no yeah. ingredients. Yeah, but no it's, it's some good stuff. It's, it's my but how can we purchase it? Track. Well, I'm working on that. Okay. We're working on getting the patent. So, you know, just like, keep up with me. Follow me on Instagram. You can follow my uh, my Instagram, jpride to you. It's J P R I D E. The number two and the letter U. And you can also follow my lock page if you like Pride Locks. Um, J Pride to you on Twitter as well. And I have a music page on Facebook, an artist page. You can check me out, J Pride. And that's J Pride, right? Mm -hmm. J P R I D E. J dot P R I D E. Okay, we just want to make sure, because you know sometimes people remix and throw the Y in there. So yeah, I want to no, make sure you get this pride, correct. Pride. <laughs> and that's Pride. In closing, we'll be.